The ancient proverb, he who loses his homeland loses all, rings hauntingly in the ears of Jordan's Sarkasian community as they express themselves and their culture through traditional dance and costumes. They're also fighting to preserve their endangered language called Adige. Only 8% of the Sarkasian diaspora can understand it. The only place the Sarkasian language is officially taught outside Russia is in this school in Jordan. Sarkasians who arrived in the Middle East in the 1860s and 1870s spoke no Arabic at all back then. Over 100 years later, the fully integrated community is now facing difficulties preserving its own ancient native language. Established in 1974 with the support of the late King Hussein, the teachers who come from the North Caucasus are native speakers of Adige, but they are few and far between. The school is at full capacity with more than 800 students. We are afraid of losing our language because parents are not using it in home now with their children. They just take it at school and after that no one talks to them. We are trying to, to save it. Dr. Mohammed Khair Mamser is a Sarkasian leader in Jordan who knows more than most about the threat their language faces. Centers to teach the Sarkasian language must become more widespread to preserve it. In Jordan and the Arab world, Prince Hamza ibn al Hussein is the only school, but it can only enroll between 700 to 800 children, while the number of Sarkasian children in Jordan is in the thousands. It's not just the older generation who are concerned about the future of their language. Young people, too, are worried about the loss of the most important part of their identity. Well, it is a bit difficult because um, you're not uh, really uh, know a lot of people to, uh, that talk it, so you don't hear it often. So it is a bit hard to learn it, all of it. The Adige language has been classified as vulnerable by the United Nations, and there are fears that it could die out within a generation. The Sarkasian community plays an active role in Jordanian society. They serve as the king's personal guards at the royal court and hold key positions within the political and military establishment. They have fared much better than their compatriots in Turkey, Syria, Israel and the Caucasus but they are finding it increasingly hard to preserve their culture and face an uphill struggle to ensure their traditions and language are not consigned to the history books. Nisreen al-Shamayli al-Jazeera, Amman.